end of the lesson, you will be able to explain what a virtual community and a social network is, describe and use some of the tools of social networking, upload a file to the internet and download software from the internet. Hi there. Today's lesson is a continuation of our previous lesson in which we dealt with e-commerce, e-banking, e-learning and e-government. Today, we're going to be dealing with virtual communities and social networking. Let's hope she's not scared of spiders. Oh, it's not real. Gosh. Okay. The next part sounds very, very interesting. It's all about virtual communities and social networking. Mm -hmm. The question asks us to explain what a virtual community and a social networking site is. So, what's your description of a virtual community, Zamo? Well, um, I guess it's just like a normal community, except it's on the internet, and it's made up of people from all over the planet. Virtual means they're not actually here in this room. They're on the internet. And a social network is like a computer network, except it's made up of people, not machines. I mean, before we had the internet, social networking was a bunch of people getting together to exchange business cards and have braai like a braai. Ah, very 80s. Nowadays, there are so many ways to do social networking over the internet. Mm. It's also quite interesting to use a telephone network mm. that might use a computer network that might use... Okay, a... okay, okay, I get the point. Tell you what, how about you Google social networks? Mm -hmm. Well, I sent all our VPN friends a newsletter about our gaming session on Friday. Cool. <sighs> oh, I know, my darlings, I've planted you in a computer monitor, but you're growing so beautifully. Ah, there you are. Nowadays, social networking is done via the computer. People communicate, interact, and network, but not face to face. So in order to know who you're networking with, many people, well, they use something called a webcam. And here are some of the other tools used for social networking. Internet Relay Chat allows you to chat to many other weird and wonderful people in a chat room. The topics in chat rooms can vary at the time depending on what's on someone's mind. You can chat in and get answers from anyone in the virtual room. Also, in some chat rooms, you can hear the voices or see videos of all the other people. People enter and leave the room all the time. And to use IRC, you need to install a chat client program. This can be downloaded from the chat server computer. And lots of these services allow you to download files. Because everyone can be anonymous or pretend to be someone else in a chat room, you have to be very careful as it can be very dangerous. You might be fooled to thinking you're chatting to someone really nice, but in actual fact, they can turn out to be totally scary, man, with some not very nice motives. So, never use your real name. Never give out your telephone number or your address. And never arrange to meet someone you only know from a chat room. Another form of social networking is internet forums. Usually, these cover specific topics and you can ask questions or give advice on that specific topic. Oh, <laughs> now these are different from chat rooms as you don't get an instant answer. But be careful, you might be asked to download certain files as an answer to a question you've asked. And some of these files could contain viruses that could damage your PC. Having said that, most downloads for software related problems are okay to download. Email lists can also be used for social networking. You can set up a discussion group using distribution lists. List server software lets you set up a list that people subscribe to by sending their email address. Yes, please, a cheeseburger, fries, and a chocolate milkshake. Thank you. Now, moderated lists are sent to the list administrator or the person who set up the list. This person then decides whether to send it to the group or not. Unmoderated lists send all and any mail out automatically. No, no catch up with that, thank you. Alternatively, you can create your own list or join a list through a Google or a Yahoo group. 
Another form of social networking is blogs. Blogs is short for weblog and consists of online diaries or journals. Amazing. Now, people called bloggers write about what they do on a daily basis or write about something that interests them or concerns them. They also contain something called blog rolls. These are links to other blogs that the blog owner feels are relevant or of interest to anyone visiting his blog. Some of the well-known blogs are MySpace, Blogspot and MyJournal, but one of the biggest is Wikipedia. This is like a huge online encyclopedia where anyone can look up or post information and pictures. You can find out just about anything on Wikipedia, even catch the latest news. Wiki is also the name of the software that is used to create this type of website. You talking to me? Hmm? You talking to me? Social networking also comes in the form of podcasts. These are audio or video files that can be downloaded into iPods or played on your computer. The name comes from iPod and broadcasting to make up podcast or podcasting. And finally, there's IM, which stands for instant messaging. This allows you to talk to someone else on the internet, provided they're online the same time as you. You can send instant messages to each other and get a reply seconds later. And if you both use a webcam, you can see each other. By the way, a webcam is a good way for people with hearing problems to speak to each other in sign language over the internet. Right, let's speed things up a little bit here. That was another information overload, eh? Mm. Okay, well, we've got one more thing to do. Oh, what is it? I'm really tired, hey? I have to go home soon. Okay, here we are. Uh, what services are available in an online community? Okay, let's Google it again. Okay. Online community. Oh, no! There are millions of sites here, hey? I'd better do an advanced search because a lot of these sites are going to be useless. Ha, that's better. Now let's see. Okay, a virtual community, online community, Facebook, myspace.com, blogs, I am chat rooms seems like it's sort of like having your own website you know like mm. our gaming one mm. except this one is much more personal i mean look here you can upload photos of yourself um, in fact you can also put up videos like youtube oh wow this is really cool you can also look for your friends which are on groups online and, and you can actually also invite them to your group Wow, you can also learn a lot of things just by um, taking part in discussions, forums, chat rooms. Hey, you can also download applications. I wonder which is longer, <laughs> this list or the email list? <laughs> okay, what's so funny? Uh, it's just something on YouTube. Okay, I can't possibly think it's that funny. Yeah? It's brilliant, Zamo. Okay, okay, listen, you're getting distracted, okay? So why don't you type up a list of all the services available on the online community, mm -hmm. and if the list is not long enough, then we'll just add search engines, uh, online dating sites, and ads. Okay, okay. There we go. Finished. Save. High five. Okay, after all our hard work, I reckon we reward ourselves. You said you'd show me how to set up Skype. Yeah, sure. Um, well, you remember we already downloaded it onto mm -hmm. our system. And uh, our laptop already has built-in microphone and built-in speakers. So all we need now is this web camera. And what we're going to do is just install it onto our system. Mm. Okay, give me one second. Ah, 
Aha, here we go. All set up. Let's call someone. Okay, I would love to, but I've got tons of homework to do. And I still want to print this project on my way home. Okay, so will you remember to bring the project to school tomorrow? Yeah, sure, no problem. Okay, so let's meet on Mixit and we can network. Awesome. <laughs> uh, so let's get packed up and head on out of here. Cool. Now, today, Morwa and Zamo investigated virtual communities and social networking. They also looked at some of the tools that can help you learn, socialize, and network. These include internet relay chat, internet forums, moderated and unmoderated lists, blogs, Wikipedia, podcasts, instant messaging, and webcams. Finally, they showed us how easy it was to upload and download files. <sighs> the best thing to do with these tools is to use them. In particular, you can use Wikipedia or any of the other tools to help you with today's task. It might take a few weeks before you finish, and who knows, you might discover some other tools to help you. So, without further ado, here's today's task. Draw up a checklist, like this one, with the names of as many tools as possible, and give a brief description of what you use it for. Then, find out the URL or website address where you can find the tool. Below the checklist, or on a separate page, write down some of the dangers of social networking on the internet, and how you can protect yourself and your computer. Once the list is complete, Show it to your teacher or parents. Then, get permission from them to download and use the tools. Finally, tick off the tools as you learn to use them. If you want to help someone with their e-learning, you could upload this task list, plus the tips about the dangers to your own social space on the web. Well, that's it for today. Don't forget, if you need more information, you can always visit our website at www.mindset.co.za forward slash learn. So, until next time, good luck with the task and be safe.